Simon Butler, Southwark uh, 212. Wednesday the 10th of August was the day I left my old parish in Croydon. Uh, two miles from that parish uh, there was a riot. And for those of you who knew Barry Barnes, a former member of the Synod, his whole business was lost in that riot in Croydon. The night I moved into my new vicarage in Battersea, there was a riot 15 minutes walk from my new vicarage. So I was beginning to wonder whether I was rather unlucky uh, in this and there was something wrong with me. But uh, as the report makes uh, clear, um, for those of us who were new in posts, this was an extraordinary um, steep learning curve and a way of getting to know one's people and the opportunities that that brought. One of the things we found out very quickly was that people were frightened. We found this out because, uh, fortunately, my own new congregation was already a member of the emerging uh, Wandsworth Citizens Organisation, a part of uh, London Citizens and Citizens UK. And in the listening exercise we had in our congregation, fear was a major issue. But we realised that fear needed to be something uh, out of which action came. And so in, uh, in alliance with other member organisations, we decided that we would conduct a community listening campaign as a result of uh, uh, the disturbances. And we did that uh, uh, in a way that asked particular questions about what were putting pressure on young people and families in the London Borough of Wandsworth. And over the course of six months, we had over 2,000 one-to-one conversations with ordinary people having conversations with their neighbours about those questions. And we had a large number of responses. And at the same time as that, and funded, I'm say, very grateful to say, by mustard seed money from the Church Urban Fund, we were able to conduct a youth leadership programme to train with community organisers from London citizens, a group of 50 young people in skills of community leadership. Now, all of that came together at the end of May when we had the first ever uh, Wandsworth Citizens Assembly in the borough. And we had over 400 people in uh, Battersea Arts Centre with the leader of the council and the borough commander. And out of that came a number of requests and pledges. The borough commander uh, promised to change uh, patrolling routes to deal with uh, issues of drug dealing. The, mayor, the, 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 the uh, leader of the council offered us a place at the table in future conversations all of which was hugely uh, encouraging and gave ordinary people, people with fear and who were affected by the riots, the disturbances, a real outlet for that fear. It took us somewhere. The result of that is there is a huge amount of energy within the borough and those 400 people. One particular example, at that Citizens' Assembly, we uh, launched 12 new residence associations on the two of the most uh, deprived estates uh, in the borough. And those have provided us, one of those estates is in our, our own parish, has provided us with a golden opportunity for some of our broadly middle class church to engage on the estate with local people in uh, really new and exciting ways. Now this report makes a lot of uh, the theological and so, so, uh, insights uh, and perspectives and I'm hugely grateful for that. Perhaps a little bit of the underplaying uh, in the report is one very simple truth. Uh, downstairs there's a book by Canon Gordon Oliver. I commend it to you. It's called uh, Ministry Without Madness. And Gordon says that the main reason he is ordained isn't because he has gifts or he has skills or anything like that, but because Jesus is risen. And for me, the main le lesson of the uh, disturbances has been about resurrection. The God who brings good out of evil, life out of deathfulness, and all that that has meant, not just for our community, but for the new energy that's coming to our uh, parish and to our mission. And for me, personally, I would say that that has given me a huge amount of opportunity, not just to serve in the name of Christ in my parish, but also to take back into my preaching and my leading of worship all sorts of things about good news of the God who brings hope. So that at Easter Day, when I stood in my new parish, said, Alleluia, Christ is risen. I was doing so not just because of the truth of the resurrection, but because I could see that emerging in the parish at which I've been privileged to serve for the last year.